In mainstream pop music, as with many other genres, the lead vocals are the single most important element of the mix. A great deal of care must be taken to get the best possible sound for the singer. To achieve that goal, two fundamental plugins in your toolbox are an EQ and a compressor. An EQ helps carve the frequency spectrum to help the vocals cut through the mix, and the compressor gives the singer a constant level to make sure that they don't pop out of the mix. So we begin by EQing the vocal track, the lead vocal track, and we're going to use a channel EQ to attenuate some of the low rumblings and to cut out a metallic ring in frequency and tame some of the high frequencies. So the lead vocal is here on track 78. So when I select the track, I'll also see that track in the inspector. And I can just click in the thumbnail, EQ thumbnail. There's my EQ, which I will close for the time being. And let's have a listen. So turn off my loop. Truth is like a lie and you don't need to defend it. So I'm listen to verse two. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. You know the birds will be bees and the guys will be... So where he sings, you've got to shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. Let's have a look at it using the... Let's make that a bit smaller. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. The the attack of the word is um, the the word you. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. It's a bit boomy down here. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. And it makes the attack of the word a little bit too boomy. Uh, some low frequency content that we can sort of get rid of. So let's first of all filter that low end and go back to our filter, our low filter. And here we're just we're going to change the slope. So we can change the, the slope here where it says dB octave. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 36, 48. So let's have a slope and let's just bring that up to about 400. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. Bypass. You know the birds. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. Pop it back in again, have another listen. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. Sounds a bit more consistent now, doesn't it? Now let's attenuate the nasally metallic twang frequency that makes the vocal sound a bit too much like the vocalist is singing into a tin can. So instead of adjusting the numeric settings in the parameter sections, we'll drag a pointer up and down in the display. So let's just position the pointer here in the... Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. So we highlight a, a band. You know the birds will be bees in the we can adjust, Sorry, we can adjust the what's called the Q factor, the width of the band of frequencies we want to attenuate here. And let's have a let's have a boost. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. Let's make that a bit wider. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. You know the birds will be bees. Shatter the silence with your beautiful So this is a classic seek and destroy EQ approach. First boost a narrow range of frequencies and sweep through the frequency spectrum to find the offending frequencies and then reduce the EQ of the uh, band to attenuate that frequency. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. Let's keep sweeping through. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. You know the birds will shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. So I can hear it around about here. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. Let's boost it even more. Shatter the silence with your beautiful noise. So the metallic tin can sounding frequencies are highly exaggerated now 
so you know you've got the right frequencies to cut and now if we command drag the band down it holds the band where it is so it, you can't move it left or right but you can now reduce I don't know, let's go down to about here and have a listen Chatter the silence with your beautiful noise it's bypass Chatter the silence with your beautiful noise Chatter the silence with your beautiful noise it's a little bit better but you can see what at least see what I'm after and now at the top here let's turn down some of these high frequencies where it's a little bit sibilant with the S's and see what we get around about here Chatter the silence with your beautiful noise Chatter the silence with your beautiful noise Let's bypass Chatter the silence with your beautiful noise Chatter the silence with your beautiful noise you can see where it's going it's starting to get it's starting to sound a little bit more tighter and focused which uh, will help the lead singer cut through this busy layered mix so let's add in some gain and then we can boost these regions here which we want to bring out retaining this cut here a little boost here and then the cut at uh, about uh, 800 and uh, sorry uh, um, 8.5 kilohertz chatter the silence with your beautiful noise chatter the silence with your beautiful noise okay let's have a listen in the mix chatter the silence with your beautiful noise and without chatter the silence with your beautiful noise So the level discrepancies are now a little bit more focused and the vocal is more focused in the mid range which makes it a little bit tighter and punchier and helps it to cut through the mix. When recorded instruments, musicians rarely play all the notes at exactly the same volume. Singers need more energy to reach higher pitches so that they can relax to sing lower pitches resulting in an uneven loudness throughout a melody line. This variation can become quite a challenge when mixing because some of the notes stick out whilst others are buried in the mix. A compressor attenuates a signal when its level goes above a specific threshold. You can use it to lower the volume of loud notes and then raise the overall level of the instrument to increase the volume of softer notes. So now what we're going to do is apply a compressor plugin to even out the dynamic range of a vocal track making sure that we can hear all the words at the same level. Close the plug in. Set the vocals to about minus 12. And I think we're going to loop around about bar 29 to bar 32. good example so the first bit you're straining to hear you're leaning in to hear it and you can see graphically as well that bit's quieter than that bit there so with the track selected let's turn on a plugin and we should be able to hear from the gain reduction meter just click and it will turn a plug-in on. I couldn't see that very well. That might be something to do with my resolution, but here we'll see that that's a gain reduction meter and we double click there and it turns a compressor on and creates a compressor on the channel strip just after the EQ. Of course, another way to do that is simply just go to dynamic and choose compressor and turn it on. So let's click the classic VCA button and the compressor adopts the look of a classic DBX 160 which is an early voltage controlled amplifier type compressor limiter known for its simplicity and its punchy aggressive vintage sound. 
Note on the gain reduction meter how some of the softer notes barely trigger the compressor. The needle stays close to zero. But when we get to girls and boys, we're up to five or six dBs, decibels of attenuation. So on the lead vocal track header, let's click solo. And although the compressor plugin has many parameters, we'll only adjust the most important parameters. So located beneath the gain reduction meter, we have the threshold, the ratio, and the makeup knobs. And over here we have auto gain. So the makeup and auto gain parameters help compensate for the gain reduction by applying a constant gain at the output of the compressor. So to focus on the gain reduction applied by the compressor, let's make sure no positive gain is uh, applied to the output. So we'll click the auto gain to off and the makeup gain to zero. We can use this or we can type it in here. So the lead vocal level will drop a bit. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. So now the compressor can only turn the volume down when the vocals reach the levels higher than the threshold parameter. Remember to turn the compressor on and off as you adjust it to compensate the sound of the vocals with and without the compressor effect. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. So lowering the threshold will make sure that the compressor is working a little more even on the weaker parts of the audio signal, imparting more of its character to the vocal sound. So let's drag the threshold knob down to about minus 30. The compressor works even harder on the loudest sound, the G of girl, reducing the dynamics further and making the level more consistent. Let's have a listen. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. And you can see it working on the meter. So you can adjust the amount of compression with the ratio knob here, which affects how much the signal that exceeds the threshold is reduced by. So let's move that up to three to one. And look at the meter, the compressor is attenuating the level up to around 10 to 13 dB. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. So we now need to compensate for that loss again you can hear. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. So let's drag the makeup you know the knob. Let's drag this makeup knob a little bit. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. So now let's compare the difference in perceived loudness between the dry and the compressed vocals while looking at the peak level display on the channel strip over here. So turn the compressor off, have a look. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. So you can see that the level of the vocal isn't consistent. So remember to click the peak level meter to display it, uh, to reset it. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. And now put the compressor in. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. And you can see the level is consistent throughout the performance and the vocals sound louder or more present. On the channel strip, the level peaks now at around about minus 13, which is very close to the peak level of the uncompressed vocal. So let's hear the work of the compressor in the context of the final mix. So when the compressor is off, the vocals are soft, 
and their level inconsistent. When the vocal, when the compressor is on, it sounds like the vocals float effortlessly right on the top of the rest of the mix, making it very comfortable to listen to them. Now that you've carved out the frequency spectrum of the vocals to give them a tight focus in the mid-range and compress them to make them punchy and consistent, you can now use reverb effects to add ambience and place them in a virtual room. We don't really want to lose the presence of the lead vocal and we want to keep it upfront and intimate, so we don't want to place the singer in a huge reverberant room. We just want to give the lead vocal a little bit of character. So I'll add a short reverb to directly to the channel strip. So on the lead vocal channel, just below the compressor, we click, go to reverb, and choose space designer. And we'll have a stereo space designer. And in the space designer plugin header, click the where it says factory default. And we'll choose medium spaces, indoor spaces, and a 1.2 small staircase setting. So the short reverb should place the singer in a space without making the singer sound huge. Still, there's probably too much reverb, so we'll have to adjust the dry wet um, setting. So let's have a listen. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. Why pass? You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. So we had a subtle amount of reverb just to keep the lead singer up front. And we can leave it at that, I think. To make it sound like the lead singer is in the same room as all the backup singers, we can send some of its signal to the same reverb bus. So here, lead vocal, go to bus 12, vocal verb. And we're just dialing a subtle amount. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys. Around about minus two. You know the birds will be bees and the girls will about be that. boys. So we're done processing the lead vocal channel strip. To compare the original dry vocals with the process vocals, you can toggle off all the plugins like so and bypass the bus you know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys we can clearly hear the difference you between know the, the two you know the birds will be bees and the girls will be boys 